Boy Mates. It's your host for the most, Sean Raymond. I am here in the beautiful city of Guadalupe in search for another plant named as the Garden Croton, or famously known as the San Francisco plant. Now, without further ado, let's just go right up into it. Come on. Garden Croton, or scientifically known as the Codium variegatum, is a small shrub with big tropical looking leaves. Some varieties also make great houseplants. Their striking red, orange and yellow striped leaves make the extra work worthwhile. Some varieties even have these purple or white stripes and patches on the dark green leaves. Croton plants prefer warm conditions. If temperature drops to far below 55 degrees Fahrenheit, the plant's leaves may begin to turn brown. Ideally, the coral plant will do best at temperatures of 80 degrees Fahrenheit or below, as the plant will not thrive in extreme heat. The coral grows relatively slowly, gaining less than 12 inches of height per growing season. The plant has coarse, dense leaves and usually grows to a height between 3 and 8 feet, while a spread of 3 to 6 feet. The abilities of this plant is very interesting, not only that it will propagate easily but also leave long, especially indoors that also helps cleaning the air. You might be wondering how this plant propagates. Well, it grows best through marketing. The plant should have three to five leaves on it and can be planted in a small pots to start its growing. The temperature of the plant should be 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and maintain moisture in the soil. With this process, the plant will likely take root within a month and be transplanted to a wider location. As this plant matures, this will also develop its beautiful colors. Ahoy mates! It's your host Ramos, Shan Raymond, back at it again. Um, if you already reach up to this point of the video, all I can say is that you know you already learned uh, this, the special attributes of this plant. You know, like the way it lives, uh, uh, the way it adapts to its surroundings, its special abilities. You need to take notes with those, and uh, the propagation, the way it propagates. Uh, it, this plant propagates through marketing and stem cutting. Stem cutting, you can use that method too. And you know, that's basically it. And it was nice sticking around with you folks. And until the next time.